Here's usually what happens when a guy wants to grow out their hair. They'll decide they want a longer hairstyle. They'll let it grow out for a month or three, hate the way it looks in the awkward stage, and drive themselves insane trying to talk themselves out of cutting it every three minutes after getting a glimpse in the mirror. And eventually, they will succumb to doing it at a moment of weakness. If that sounds like your experience growing out your hair, listen up because we're going to give you a roadmap on how to grow out your hair and finally get those luscious locks you've always dreamed of. Since this is a roadmap, you're going to need a beginning and an end point. What's your grown out hair ideally going to look like? Are you trying to go for a slicked back medium flow, a man bun, or a Jason Momoa? Having an end goal is mandatory because you need to calculate exactly how long it's going to take to grow out your hair and work around that timeline. It's also really helpful to have an end goal because a skilled stylist can help you reach it more efficiently. For example, if you want something like a Leonardo DiCaprio hairstyle, they might give you an undercut and tell you to grow it out for a few months. But for this video, we're going to assume you're starting with a buzz. So now, you've got your hair goal in mind. Maybe you've saved some images of what you hope it will look like. It's time to create the roadmap to get you there. The beginning. So you've buzzed your hair. I call this the tennis ball phase because your hair is going to grow out evenly all around making your round head look like a fuzzy tennis ball. It's important to know that the average length of hair growth is about half an inch per month. To really begin to look long haired, you'll need at least 9 inches of hair. If we average it out, that's about a year and a couple months of growth for most guys. During these first few months, you have very short hair and much better access to your scalp. So it's the perfect time to create a healthy scalp and give it the conditions to grow thick, healthy hair. This means doing a few things. You should note that you can do all of these or skip all of these. It depends on what you're trying to improve. Number one, scalp exfoliation. This helps with dry flakes that are often confused with downdraft. Number two, rosemary oil. This nourishes and moisturizes your scalp and has shown evidence of hair growth and hair thickening. Number three, diet. Eating plenty of protein, especially eggs, are an amazing attribute for growing nice healthy hair. They're after all nature's multivitamin. You can also get an all-in-one hair vitamin like Sugar Bear to get all the vitamins you need for healthy hair. Now here's the secret to avoiding the awkward phase when growing out your hair. The key is in the longest strand of hair at the front of your scalp. This hair tells us how much we can clean up and trim the hair without losing growth. If you lay down this strand of hair to the side, anywhere below it is what you can trim and clean up without messing up the growth of your long hair. At around 2-3 to three months, we get our first cleanup. Cleanup can be a taper, a low fade, or just a trim, and this is exclusively on the sides and back of the hair. From here on out, every month or two, depending on how fast your hair grows, we get a cleanup following the front strand rule. So your next haircut might be a side part, and after a few months, you'll no longer be able to buzz the sides super short. So your hair is going to start taking shape, and you'll only be able to do slight trims. And now, we're about 6 months of hair growth in, and you have officially what I call home stretch hair, which means the hair has a nice shape, it's officially treading into long hair territory, and you've managed to avoid most, if not all of the awkward phase. From here on out, I suggest getting a trim very rarely to clean it up, cut off split ends, and just keep it neat and clean. But you definitely don't want to overdo it and accidentally lose months of growth. So let's summarize the first six months of our hair journey. Number one, you start with short hair. Number two, with easier access to your scalp, you'll create an environment for healthy growth. Number three, in the first two months, get a low taper, fade, or trim to avoid tennis ball head. Number four, follow the front strand rule to avoid the awkward stage. For example, after three months, you'll likely want to get something like a side part. And after four months, a gentleman's cut, which is basically a grown out side part, works too. Number five, six months is the starting of home stretch hair. Slight trims is all you're going to need until you hit your goal. Now here's where you guys might think the journey ends but this is just the beginning. 
Most men have no idea how to take care of their longer hair, which is why it often turns into a greasy, stringy, frizzy mess. You have had short hair all your life, this is going to be a new world. You're actually going to have to take care of it now if you want the kind of long hair that actually looks good. This is going to mean finding the right products for your hair, using hair oils, hair masks, specific shampoos and conditioners, brushing it, and having a specific washing schedule. If you thought it was easy, you thought wrong. Having actual long hair that looks good is a lot of hard work. Even the way you dry it is going to have to be different now. With all that in mind, we will make a specific video on all of this so you don't have to worry about finding all this yourself.